okay, I did use, I already used the almond milk, so I might have to make two recipes. So I put one and I'll put two, so I'm gonna have to double it. <laughs> I probably need it double because there's a lot of us. But anyway, so we'll double this and then condensed milk. I should put everything over there whenever I'm done, right? That way we don't overdo it. Two tablespoons. One. I had to double the recipe because I already did the almond milk and I didn't realize it too. Okay. Four teaspoon. Any more cups? Okay, we're gonna need this. Okay, let's run these out. That's crazy. Now I gotta get two eggs. So that's fine though. As long as we know what we're doing here. Okay, we're done with the condensed milk. Get one more egg in my cup to look at it. So it's calling for, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I guess I knew I needed one too. Okay, um, we've got two eggs, two tablespoons of the sweetener. We need two more tablespoons of this. And then we need the dry yeast. I'm really trying to hurry you guys because I don't have we're going to be eating late if not. I turned off the cauliflower. So the potato salad can be done. Two tablespoons of that. So we're done with this. Don't put the extra sugar. Put that way over there. Okay. Um. Now we need the yeast. One and one. One and one fourth. Teaspoons. One. Okay, and then got yeast, almond milk, eggs, milk, sweetener. Uh, now we're gonna mix it well. Um, the thing is, is uh, I don't know if this is the right kind of yeast. That's just gonna be so bad. I didn't go get it. I had them go get it. I didn't see the instant. So we might not get the rise that we want. It doesn't say instant on there, so. We're gonna let it. We might not have these biscuits tonight. It might be tomorrow. So mix it good. Um, it said room temperature almond milk. This is it's cold. I messed up already, but we'll see if these come out right. Uh, add in flour and salt, mix well. Okay, so add in flour and salt. So we're gonna put the flour, we want one and one half cups. the fourth cup. Where's my cup? Okay, one. I think we want two tablespoons to the side. Okay, so we stirred that up, and it says to add the almond uh, flour, I mean the wheat flour, and we're gonna need two of these now. I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough because it should be enough for two, but I might not have enough for the, the, the other part. So we'll do one. How much almond flour? I mean wheat flour? One and a half. 
so it'll be three. So I'm gonna put some of the other flour. I'm always messing up something, huh? Too, because I can only find one of these. So I'm gonna put a little bit of almond flour in there, and maybe it'll be okay. Because that's all I have. I only could find one of those bags. So we change it up a little and put some of the almond flour. This is a one, just a little bit. We need three because we made a double recipe, remember? Okay. You know I don't like almond flour that much. So that's one and a half, that makes three. And then we'll have two extra tablespoons. Probably put it in here. Let's move this to use it to roll, probably. One, probably to roll it in or something, too. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this up in a minute. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna mix it. It says add, and then salt, flour and salt, and mix well. Okay, one teaspoon of salt, right? It says to put it all together. Oh, I can't just do it over this because I don't have one of those. A bit more. Let me, I'll just take it off. Here. Whoa, <laughs> she's messy. And one teaspoon, right? Oh, one. Is this one half or one half? One teaspoon. One half teaspoon. It's a good thing I double check stuff because I'm always. That's a tablespoon. Is this a half teaspoon? I'm going to put way too much. One half. Oh, so what are we doing? Doubling it, right? So I had it right because I doubled the recipe. Okay, let's stir it up. And I need the butter, two tablespoons. I need two, two tablespoons of softened butter. And this one a little bit less. Since that was over a little bit. Okay. Then we'll mix it in. It's supposed to be a little, what do you call it? Uh, it was hot over there, huh? <laughs> okay, so it's sticky. It, should, it says the dough should be a little sticky and it looks like you're, we're doing it. So what does it tell us to do? But it looks too sticky if you're going to knead it and all that. So let's move this out of the way because we're gonna need this counter and I will put it in this bag. This is empty. Oh, I need to see the, this flower go. We'll get another one. Oh, rain. That would be nice. In Lancaster. Yeah, there we go. This stuff is doing weird stuff, so I think I'm gonna have to. I didn't even put all the dough in here. It's gonna use more lightly floured surface dough. Okay, we gotta do one at a time. But anyways, I'm gonna come back in two minutes. Isn't so messy. Okay, after you've kneaded it for five minutes, not stepping in it. I've been spilling this stuff everywhere. I don't know. How Okay, so we're gonna make, it says to make these in rolls, like a log or whatever, but I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you can do that and then you split it and then you 
make it like, I'm just going to make it like how my mom used to make them. Make like three, make like round. Stick them together. That's the rolls that my mom, similar to what she used to make. You can kind of stick it in together so you can make it like pull apart if you want. Two, three. So that's how I'm making them. And then they're going to rise. Can you see them? I don't even think you can see them. Let's move that back a little. There you go. See how I did it? Just roll it. And this is the wrong yeast, first of all, because I didn't tell them what kind of yeast. So all I'm going to do is put them in the oven so they can rise a little. Put it on 350. And uh, just stick them together so they can, you can just pull them apart. And you like make, make it kind of pull apart. This is a lot of dough. <laughs> So I'll show you what they're going to look like when I'm done as I'm making these. So I'm going to have to sit down. I've been doing a lot of uh, baking and videos. I did three, a couple videos today. And I don't know, my back is kind of hurting a little because I have, I can't be standing up too long. Sometimes it starts hurting. So. But, because I, I mean, I need to put some, something under my feet, like a rug or something. You know, you're only supposed to stand for so long. As far as I'm concerned, I can't really. I messed up my back years ago whenever I used to work at it as, as in retail. See how it pulls apart really nice? In retail, and they didn't have one of those rugs, and they'd have you standing for hours, you know, with nothing to support your back. So it was, it, it, you know, messed up my back. So anyways, I'm gonna do these really quick, then I'll be back. Okay, so now we're making, we're gonna put these in the oven. I got, like I said, I got the wrong yeast, so they're gonna have to do, but I'm sure they're gonna be delicious anyway. So what I'm doing is making an egg wash. What you do is if you take an egg, you put a couple of you no, know, maybe a tablespoon of water with it. Or you can use the egg whites on it. Whichever one way you want to do it. I'm going to use both. And I'm going to... I have a pastry brush. But I have the spatula. I have to invest in a pastry brush. And just put it over your rolls. Or, you know, just adds a little sheen to it. And it also... Um, Makes it really nice. Oh, you have to go again? Yeah. Did you get to taste good. any of the stuff? All right, so you see I still have some left. So I'm gonna go put these in there and um, I will show you when they're done. It's about 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, no longer because I have overcooked keto food lately and I know it doesn't taste as good. So just stick to the money, stick to the thing, probably 20 minutes and we're going to try them. And I was going to mention Keto Love is the name of the website, I mean the, the uh, YouTube that does the, uh, that did the uh, potato salad and like if she ever sees this video, we tried it, and I will let her know. I had it in there less than 20 minutes, so I don't know, guys. My oven is probably hotter than normal. So, anyways, that's the sad part about it. We've got chicken, we've got potato salad. Now, the potato salad is good and cold. The chicken is cold. Look how many cookies we have left. It's on the other video. I showed how to make these almond butter cookies. So, they like them. Let me turn this alarm off. There we go. But 
these are the rolls. And these look kind of brown. Ooh, they do feel soft. I messed that up when I was putting that egg wash. But anyways, we've got some deliciousness coming out of here. Let's put it right here so we can look good at the food. Okay, let's take one of these rolls out. Did I boil it? I think I did. But I'm telling, oh no, I didn't. Well, I thought they were very oily. So let's see, does it pull apart? Yeah, see how it pulls apart a little? Pull apart bread, okay? That's it right there. And you can put a little butter on there too. We've got butter right here. Put it on the side if you wanna put a little butter in there. And we've got this from Sam's Club. This, you see the chicken? Chicken, chicken, chicken. Mine's cold. If they want to heat it up, they can heat it up. But I like cold chicken with a cold potato salad on a hot summer day. Well, actually, it's literally not summer yet. Not until um, the 20th, so. I like the white meat, but the ch dark meat is better for you if you're ketoing it. A little better for you, so. This is actually my first time eating today, you guys. I've been doing stuff all day. I did three videos because I, I sometimes I do that, you know, I'll do the three videos. And um, so, and my back hurts, but like I was saying, I heard it a while back when I was working at the same retail place. A couple times, they didn't have rugs. You're supposed to have like a rug behind you. Okay, so you can have it to rest your back. All right, so this is the potato salad. Cauliflower potato salad. Don't eat too much of the cauliflower either, only because there are more carbs in the cauliflower. Are you eating any food, sweetie? Where are you going? Okay. We're gonna try everything right now. refrigerator stuffed. They went shopping so they wouldn't have to go back and whoa, 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 whoa. sorry about that and keep going. Look at that meal. I just want you to look at it. Look how delicious that is. I'll get me a drink. Woo! The back is hurting guys. I'm telling you. Doesn't that look good? potato salad and if I try these rolls and they're good wait till you hear what I'm gonna say and we've got a raspberry lemonade there Let's go get I hope you liked the video. If you want more information on those recipes, please go to Low Carb Love and you'll find them.